What's up? I believe people won't care about me when I die. And today, we are in the bathroom. Because I'm taking a shit. But after that, we're doing another episode of Cooking with Ash. And now, it's time for Cooking with Ash. I finally finished taking a shit. So welcome to Cooking with Ash. Now, the first episode, we made some spicy ass cookies that burned my tongue. But uh, it was good. So, no complaints there. But today, we are making something sweet. So, it's around 8.30 right now. And I'm hungry. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. And I thought, let's make a classic. Let's make a goddamn classic. But make it better. We have bread. Nutella. We are going to be making the best Nutella sandwich known to mankind. So I would try to give you guys a list of ingredients, but the thing is, I don't know them yet. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. But the main ingredients you need is bread. I'm doing it whole wheat because man's gotta stay ultra healthy out here. But cut off the crust because. Y'all know the crusts suck. Cut off all the crusts. And you might be wondering, why are there four pieces? We're just making one sandwich. I'll get to that. I'll get to that very soon. And then of course, we have the main part. Nutella. So what we're gonna do now, is take two pieces of bread. Take a tiny spoon, which I got here. Open the Nutella. Take about a teaspoon of Nutella and put that shit right there. Now you gotta spread it around. Mm, that looks sexy. Make sure there's a bit more in the center because when you squeeze it, it will spread out more evenly. But make sure you have a uniform amount everywhere else. Just a little extra on the center and we got the Nutella down now put the bread on top Nutella sandwich you think it's done right? WRONG! now it's time for the chocolate overload Nutella sandwich what I got here is some Nesquik now you know what you're thinking this is not cereal this is a Nutella sandwich Wrong. It's both. Now, oh. shit. Uh, I. It's okay if you drop some. Just eat those. But we want around 250 centigrams of uh, Nesquik over here. Maybe a bit less. And then. Part. You take whatever old container you have, make sure it's dry. You need to dry it up. And then, you know what you do? You crush that shit. So now you got a slightly broken down bowl of Nesquik, but what you're going to do is eat out the spots that are still whole, like this one. Eat those out until you just got the powder stuff. After all the big ones are gone, you can crush out the like half ones so that they become a bit more of a powder. And there we go. That's a nice fine powder. We won't be using all of this, but you can if you want to. Now, we're gonna put these on here. Now, we're gonna wait. Keep that to the side. Let it, let, let it just stay there. Nice powdery. So make sure you crush it even with your hands if you find any 
particles that aren't fully like broken down because the container can't usually break down everything properly then we go to the kitchen now remember use your imagination make whatever you want it's all about your dream but use whatever you have and if you have money go to the store and buy stuff but i'm a broke boy so i'm just going to get whatever i have right here oh shit we got some bourbon let's use that as well so what you got to do now is take around two of these bourbons it doesn't matter if they're broken down just take them take two whole bourbon biscuits Aha! So we take two of these and then what we do is take the biscuit part of the bourbon, throw that away. We don't need that. We want the cream that's inside. That's what we want. So um, take out the cream from the biscuit. take it all off and put it on the side of the plate the remaining biscuit if you want you can eat it make some more balanced breakfast now i meant to also use chocolate chip cookies but mine got over so can't use those but it doesn't matter we use what we got here's our basic as boring predictable nutella sandwich now we're going to improve on that we'll take the nutella take the spoon good take a gigantic scoop put half of it inside because we won't need that much right now this is just put on the top i know what you're thinking why put it on the top how are you going to eat it it's going to come out as shut up shut up Put it, put a thin layer on top. We don't want as thick as what we had inside the sandwich. Or if you want, if you want to be a thick boy, we can be thick boys. Put a bit more Nutella on that pan, and then we take the Nesquik, sprinkle it. We sprinkle it all on there. Again, spread evenly. We want, we just want the crunch of it, so that it gives a balance to the thick creaminess of the Nutella. So you feel me? Take the top part, put it, squeeze it a bit, just to let it set, and then put this bourbon cream on top, just randomly. Just when you thought of putting the chocolate here, bang, Nutella on top of that, just in the center because we need to hold it from the sides. Just put an extra dollop of Nutella. So that's the top part, and then if you have some extra bourbon cream like I have, put that on top just to make a tiny bourbon cream sandwich as well. And then we have another piece of bread left. Put Nutella on that thing. That's what you got to do for everything. Just put Nutella. Nutella makes things better. It's chocolate and hazelnut and goodness and shit that cause cancer. But I I can die early if I means eating all this. I don't give a shit. I want to die early. Corona gonna get us all anyway. Is he trying to mess up my life? Okay, we got a thicker layer right now. Close up the Nutella. We won't be needing any more. Put a more heavier sprinkling of the Nesquik here. Yes. And I would also advise you to put chocolate chips after the Nesquik if you're using them. I can't right now because mine are over. But you gotta do what you gotta do, man. If you know, you know. So we just make like a mountain of what we have left because I made way too much. I still have a bunch left, and 
We're just gonna use that as put to the top for now. Just gonna go over it. And then put this thing on top. And there we go. You got a sandwich? Put the remaining sprinklage on top. You have more Nutella. I just have some on the spoon right here. Put that on the thing. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. It's all part of the cooking experience. Don't be like, oh, but my hands will get dirty and I don't want to do it. Shut up! Anyway, you put some more. That's it! You are done for breakfast. It only took like, what, 15 minutes? You're probably dying of hunger right now, but who cares? You got this to fill you up. And there you go. The perfect Nutella sandwich. Layers of Nutella all over. Then we got that extra shit, baby. That's what makes it sexy. Got some Nutella on the intro, some of the Nesquik butt powder. Mmm. That might look like shit, but it's just chocolate, so I love it. You can put whatever you want on there, um, which I didn't. You can put peanut butter. Mine got over again. So normally, I use I make peanut butter in the color sandwich. That shit's amazing. It's like a Reese's puff, Reese's pieces, whatever. The Reese's thing, it tastes like that. So it's amazing. Perfect. But you can add other stuff, anything sweet. You can add like marshmallows in this, toast them a bit. You can add like cake crumbs, whatever you have. It's all about experimentation and imagination. Now obviously, since you can't just eat it like this, it's a bit of a mess. You cut it. So uh, don't be doing this if you're a kid. You could cut your hand like if you're under the age of two, don't use it. If you're like three and shit, go use the knife. There's no problem with it. You're not a baby anymore. You just cut that shit. Um, I already cut my finger here. So. I was fighting a war in the, with the Arabs. Over here, and uh, they took out a gun, and I didn't have a gun, so I just took out a knife I was using to like peel my oranges, cut them, and then I cut myself. So, safety first, kids. And there you go. Look at that. Tell me that isn't appetizing. Four layers of bread, you got the carbohydrates, Nutella, you got the sugars. Nesquik, got the proteins. Vitamins and minerals, screw that shit, who needs that? Mm. Mm. Did I say it? This is better than the new hot cookies. Mmm. Damn this shit good. Now wait for it, we got the shit part here. The part that looks like a shit. Word of advice to you guys, make this three layers, I don't know if I'll be able to finish this, unless you're like super high metabolism, then eat it, I don't give a shit. Mm. <laughs> so good! So, while I eat this, I want to talk about life, like a mukbang. So, life's going good. Exams are over. I got nothing to do with life.
Blues has come back finally, so everything's okay now. We can start the dumbass channel once again. I want to make more music as well. I know you guys hate that, but music is probably my favorite passion. It helps me like control my depression. And so does the sandwich. I should stop saying I have depression because I haven't gotten it mentally tested or anything but I'm pretty sure I have some sort of mental illness. Over the past few years it's been a struggle to just get out of bed. And I don't talk about it that much because if I do people just think it's me wanting attention so I don't know what to do and I don't want to put my burden on other people it's just life you know can't do anything about it I'm just this way. I don't think it can get fixed. I'll just stay the same. A lot of people make fun of me for being fat, but the real reason for that is I tend to stress eat a lot. Whenever I overcome my emotion, food is one thing that helps me maintain whatever I'm doing. And uh, food and music, those two things. That's why do so much music. I don't care anymore what you guys think. You guys can not listen to it. I don't care. I just like making music. I just like it's therapeutic for me. I don't know if I have friends that I can trust on. It's like I saw this like interview with someone. I don't remember who a friend of mine sent it to me. Not a friend, a relative of mine. And it just talks about how millennials and the younger generation can't make meaningful relationships which they can trust the people. And the more I think about it, I don't know if I can trust anybody with like my deepest, darkest secrets or how I'm feeling or I don't know if my friends can help me because I've never tried talking to them about it. It just feels weird and that's where the problem lies. I should be talking about it but I can't. I just don't want to, I know this will sound like self like an egotistical statement but I'm too selfless and that's not in a good way that's in a horrible bad way I love to help others but when it comes to myself I don't 
want others to help me because I feel bad about it and that's ruining myself in a way so <clears throat> the only people who watch these videos are my friends at least right now I don't know if like 10 years later if I'm maybe dead or something and people just go back and find this and Realize, oh, this guy was an idiot. He's making goddamn chocolate diabetes sandwiches. <clears throat> but if you if you can talk to me about my feelings, like if you can understand what I'm feeling, if you can empathize with what I'm doing. <clears throat> If you just understand, then you're a good friend. Not just for me, for anyone. So keep doing that. For people who don't, try to understand people around you. Back in sixth grade, none of my friends understood me. I think now it's a bit better. I can talk to a bit more of my friends about it. Not like too much, but... At least a bit more but in sixth that was when I was at really low point eighth I got some people but there was some really bad stuff that happened that year so but like sixth was I was at an emotional low point I was I had barely any self-esteem at some point I was suicidal but I was too much of a pussy to actually do it. You guys don't need to worry about me. I'm fine. I have like mood swings at times. God damn it, my braces are just sticking to everything. So I have mood swings where I just feel horrible. But like in five minutes it goes. So I'm fine. Don't, don't worry about it. Whatever I'm saying is mostly exaggerated just because of my feelings at the time don't listen to everything I'm fine but I just want to give some advice like be good to the people you love because you don't know when they're gone they could be gone in an instant I know I talk about this way too much. It's You guys are probably hating me for saying it again, but George, I, I, I didn't know he was going to leave us. I talked to him the day before. on No, on the day that it happened. October 16, 2017. And I wasn't good to him. And I hate myself for that right now. So that's just an advice I wanted to give. I didn't know when I would give it, but I guess I'm giving it now. Be good to the people you love. Even if you don't, if you even if you had some bad moments right at the moment, you know you love them throughout. And. Uh, you don't know when they leave you and you don't know 
how guilty you'll feel until they're gone. That was another episode of Cooking with Ash. If you liked the video, make sure to like down below. Subscribe to the Dumbass channel because you want some other epic content like this. Make sure you comment on what was your favorite part. Mine was the depression part. That was my favorite. I, I love that.